<laughs> hey everyone, it's Emily. I'm here with Scott today. Um, we're here again to show you guys the some cool weekly showcase stuff. Um, before we get started with that, I wanted to ask Scott how the football thing's going. What's up? So the weekly pick 'em. Yeah, there we go. Well, we had a winner, even though it started off pretty slow because everyone who entered picked Carolina to win. Carolina lost, which is good for the Bucks. Uh, but this week's winner was Dustin. We've already notified him. He's all super excited. Yeehaw. Um, I do want to make sure everyone understands, even if you did not enter for this past week, you still can get in on it. You're only one week back. You, That's the phone. Um, if you pick great, you don't have to know football. If you just want a chance to win that amazing 4K TV, uh, you can... Go get your picks in. Again, there's no over-under. There's no weird, goofy fantasy thing. It's just pick who's going to have the most points at the end of the game. So if you want a shot at that TV, just head over to our website, thepalacedorianloan.com. Nav bar all the way to the right. Hit pick them. Go to week two. Get your picks in before the game starts Thursday. That's how the football thing's going. All right. Cool. And there's a big truck outside. Squirrel? Yeah, lots of squirrels. Okay. So, what are we going to talk about this week? So today, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we have some really cool um, Salvador Dali Oh, here, I'm going to switch the camera. Paintings. It's going to be easier. Woohoo! We have some really cool Salvador Dali paintings um, that we're going to talk about today. You guys are going to learn some stuff. Hopefully we're good enough teachers or informers, I guess. These are really cool. Mm -hmm. So, obviously the first question is going to be, who is Salvador Dali? Salvador Dali was born in 1904 across the pond over in Spain. He's actually best known for the second picture we're going to be showing you and the guy's been painting well he was painting from a very early age and he attended an academy in Madrid where he got to hang out with somebody I'm sure all of you have heard a guy by the name of Picasso Picasso and Salvador were buds <laughs> by the 30s Dali was a notorious figure of what was called the surrealist movement which is what you're seeing here now this first picture, it is called The Vanishing Face, for obvious reasons. There's kind of nothing there with the dragonflies, the rose, somebody's naked. <laughs> um, this is a re-release. Salvador Dali, when he was still alive, allowed it. This is number 16 of 65. So the low number obviously means increased value, which is pretty sweet. All right, so in um, 1934, uh, Salvador actually got expelled from his surreal group, that painter's group Scott was talking about. Um, he actually got expelled for not following or supporting a Spanish militant. Instead, he repeatedly celebrated Hitler. So... Dun, dun, dun. Right? So, but despite him being expelled, he actually continued painting and going to the surreal art shows, um, even giving lectures at the shows about his knowledge and everything that he gave lectures on. So that was cool, good for him, I guess. Yeah, so this is the one that is his mo one of his more popular ones. It's been... All of those clocks melting yeah. and everything, that's all him. They, Simpsons did a version, I know Family Guy did a version. I think there was a movie where the melting clock was stolen or something like that. I, I know it's on like Bugs Bunny. Yeah. On the Looney <laughs> Tunes. Gotta love Bugs. <laughs> this last one is called The Chemist. And it's actually very cool. So with Dolly being expelled from the Surrealist Movement in World War II, he moved to the United States. And while he was here, he moved out of the surrealist 
period of his professional career moved more into the classical period. Uh, we don't have anything from that period to show you guys. Sorry. But he called this the nuclear mysticism. Much of that work contained optical illusions, holographs, and geometry. Did you say mysticism? Yeah. Say that five times fast. That, I dare you. That, 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 oh. that. I should have reworded that. <laughs> And of course, you know, because he was alive a hundred years ago, Dolly in the 80s, or actually in 1980, he developed a, uh, a motor disorder that caused his hands to tremble, mm -hmm. which was very sad for him. Uh, couldn't paint anymore. His wife passed away, I believe, in 84, so he fell into a state of depression. And in 1989, he died of heart failure. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Died of a broken heart. Like Johnny Cash. Because jo Johnny Cash died two months after his wife died. That's two so months. sad. Two. Count them. One, two. Oh, one thing really quick I do want to tell you guys. I know it's probably lame or something, but I just something I picked up is um, on all of these paintings, someone put a lot of time and work into framing them accordingly, accordingly to the painting and all the colors and stuff. I think I just think that's a cool like little fact. Yeah, we I were guess. talking before when we were prepping for this, and the one thing you pointed out: black, blue, black, which kind of goes with all the blues yeah, and the blacks. Yeah, it all matches really nicely, so you don't have just something just put into some random frame. Someone really took the time and so, color coded and random, organized everything. Here's a random question for you: What does that look like? <sighs> Who are you asking? Me or the other? You. Me? It looks like two cherries, duh. It looks like a butterfly trying to fly off with the cherries, right? Yeah. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's where my brain goes. <laughs> a lot of people laugh when they see my face. It's okay. So those are the paintings. Um, we just wanted to show you guys because we think they're pretty cool. We also have other paintings. I'm gonna try and show those to you. Gotta walk over here for that. And you can kind of see they're going all the way down our wall. All the way that way. And we have a couple over there. Two. Some really cool horse ones, if you like horses. My sister-in-law likes horses. Nice. So does my mom. She does. It's awesome. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get the hi, mom in there. So, so. <laughs> we're just trying to have fun here. Um, probably in about two hours, maybe three, we'll get a trivia question up for you guys for the trivia challenge. So make sure you're paying attention to our goofiness. Uh, we have not picked what is going to be up for grabs this week. Unless you did. I didn't. We pick something? I didn't pick something. I do have a couple things in mind, and I'm going to tell Scott off camera, so it's a secret until we announce it. Secrets. <laughs> so I think that's going to be it. Yeah. We already talked about the football. Again, in a couple hours, stay tuned for the announcements. Um, I keep watching us every Wednesday. We're trying to put out more videos and keep you guys entertained. Um, suggestions suggestions please let us know how we're doing like and share the video if you really like what's going on give us some more tips and pointers on what you think we should do or if you don't like us being silly maybe we should try being more serious if you guys like seriousness or if you like silliness I think we're good with that we're I don't know let us know how we're doing <laughs> so <laughs> okay silly's good so we're gonna wrap this one up uh, be sure to check back for that video and get your guesses in Y'all have a good one.